welcome to another episode of Thursday Nights with Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, that was bare cheesy. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Thursday Nights with Sunshine. I know it's been long, you, as you can see, my environment don't change, okay? That's because I'm in uni now. So I've been packing, I've been trying to get my life sorted, hence why a video hasn't been out sooner. But don't worry, and my worry, I'm back and I'm better. So how have I been? What's new? Like, I'm good, I'm 21 now, 21, eight. what's nine plus two, eight? 21, 20, 20, <laughs> yeah. My birthday was so good. I'll probably make a video about me being 21 and I'll put some clips of my birthday, but I'll put some pics here. <laughs> yowls, yowls, yowls. I literally had the best birthday ever. Literally, like the first day, all my girls came over, we had a sleepover, we played games, yo, like. <laughs> Yo, like, when you have all your close friends in one room, yeah, you, you feel triggered. <laughs> and then the next day we went to some trampoline place. It was so much fun. I off my wig and I started running with, listen, I enjoyed myself. Yes. In terms of enjoyment, yo, like this summer was the best summer of my life. Like 2017 summer, bang, because I did not work. <laughs> like literally I worked all time. I'm even crying now, you know. I worked full time all summer 2016, but then I was stacking my notes. When my friends were doing shayu, I was there in the office typing and answering phone call. Do you know what I'm saying? But this summer, I enjoyed. The key to having a great summer is to save and then splash. Do you know what I'm saying? When I was hustling and grinding, I knew what I was hustling and grinding for. But in terms of money, okay, if you have me on Snapchat, you know I've been going on about this, okay. So, people are saying 70 pounds plus for buy day cake, calm. I thought that was a cash loss until I wanted to do Instagram buddy and have those massive 21 balloons. I thought it would be five pounds. I was wrong. One, one balloon that said number one, was seven pounds the letter two or the number two was seven pounds combined together 14 pounds well let's think about that oh, maths. 14 pounds for helium and tin foil ah! hmm. God. I don't understand how helium and tin foil combined together can come to a cost of 14 pounds how no I will blow it yeah but it will not stand, that's the only issue. If not, I would have made my own 21 balloon. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, it's cool. I slayed. <laughs> you know what I hate so much? It's when you buy something, but the bank does not want to take it out immediately. Why? Why are you falsely telling me that I have money in the bank when you know you're gonna take it out in four days time? So me, I was on my internet banking, checking my balance, and I see money has been taken out that day i was thinking i did not go out anywhere i said fraud has taken over my account as in these leicester boys have found my account and taken my money but luckily before i was about to call the bank and report the incident i realized oh yeah it was me now me spend them oh uh, uh, okay yeah and the thing is, I thought I was the only one that does this or has many panic attacks but other people on my snapchat were telling me that they go through the same thing as in one person went to the bank. <laughs> she went to the bank and reported money that she had spent as fraud. Yeah, it's a tough world. So as I told you, I've come back to uni. Yeah, I've met all my housemates. Yeah, they're nice. But your housemates are not your friends. They're your enemy. The enemy lives within, okay? remember that but one got a bit comfy she knocked on my door and opened she wanted to as if she was about to enter into my room i stood there and i said can i help you I, I, i'm is it because we're black together it means we're family i don't know you from nowhere okay don't enter the, with chest me and my own chest i blocked you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's another one. So I said to her, oh, hey, where are you from? She's like, I'm half Jamaican, half Nigerian. I said, eh, are you Yoruba? She said, yeah. I said, eh, what's your Nigerian name? She said, Inkechi. I said, I said, huh? Inkechi. I said, that's 
not Yoruba. That's Igbo. She was looking at me. I was looking at her. She was laughing. I was still looking. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm Igbo. That's where I'm from. I said, ah, okay, this one is different, okay? Yeah. <laughs> On the topic of different, I don't know why crackheads are now getting exposure because they've been there from day. Let me tell you about my first encounter with one, okay? So me and Renee, shout out Renee, we were in town, we were going home, she had McDonald's calm, so she was eating her chips at the bus stop. Then one old Oyunbo man that looked as if he had been inhaling and injecting drug into his body came up to us and he was like to Renee, can I have a chip? Renee was like, no. What? I, I mean, I was just laughing. I was thinking, ha, 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 ha. But it wasn't a funny matter. Okay. My man proceeded to take his dirty hand and take her chip and put it inside his mouth and then offer it back to her. He put his hand inside her chip, took the chip, ate it, and gave her the remaining. I, I, <laughs> if it wasn't for me withholding Renee, I feel like she would have spun his jaw sideways as in his jaw would have connected to the floor Okay, I don't know where they get the sort of bravery, the courage Like, ah, is that what drug does to somebody? If it, I don't want that kind of bravery, let me not lie because that kind of bravery will get you six feet under on the topic of jaw, I don't know if you guys have seen this new hairstyle. I mentioned it on my snap of girls where they'll braid one side and then the rest will fall like this. Yeah? Braid it and then the rest is falling. Okay. Don't get me wrong, it looks cute. It looks really cute on some people that have neck strength. Okay? Keyword. Neck strength. Okay, that's two words. Neck strength. <laughs> but there are some people that don't have that sort of upward thrust to uphold their neck and their head okay so therefore the head will be tilting to one side it's not cute like that sis it's not cute it's not for everybody okay because you see your neighbor doing it does not mean you should do it as well uh, is it before your neck reaches your shoulder before you realize that your neck has not got that muscle the muscle required to uphold the neck for that kind of orishirishiri hairstyle i'm not even going to discuss whether What's her name? Kai, Kai, Kaindu, Kaindu, Jenna, or Cloning, Jenna, or Cloning, Kai, yeah, whatever their names are, yeah, I don't care if they get belle. We think concern me. If you get belle, do for you. If you don't get belle, do for you. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to say something very controversial. If Donald Trump can be president, I can be anything. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? I'm telling the truth. Why am I telling the truth? Because the president does not act presidential. He acts so immature, so childish, yet he is the, the what do you call it, the most powerful man in the world. If someone of that kind of category can be the president, I can be any, I can be, a, I, if I want to fly to the moon, I'll fly to the moon right now. I don't need qualification, God will qual qualify me. <laughs> Your main concern is people kneeling down when you should be focusing on North Korea, when you should be focusing on getting people jobs, doing your job as a president, focusing on people that are affected by the hurricanes. No, my concern is let me look at people that are kneeling. How dare they kneel for disrespectful? How dare they kneel when the national anthem is being played? How dare waiting concern you is that the main issue in this world mr trump no it's not instead of trump bashing those that are kneeling maybe he should focus on why they're kneeling do you know what i'm saying like your job as a president is to focus on the people's needs and clearly this is a global issue like racism you know discrimination like yo trump well that's the end of Thursday nights with sunshine. Sorry it's a bit late. I haven't really got much to talk about. Do you get what I'm saying? But don't worry, videos will be coming out. Now that I've got my setup set good, you know, don't worry. I'm here, I'm back. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Hey, sunshine's back, back, back. Oh, tell your friends no, tell your friends to subscribe to my channel because I'm nearly at 10k subscribers. I mean, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video uh, uh.
I swear I cannot say the words Trump without thinking everybody blow your Trump hey, na, 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 na,